Hi, this is going to be a reading for, um, let's see, what did I just do? We'll do Aries. Hi, Aries. All right, Aries. We're going to jump right into your tarot, Aries. Screw it. <laughs> I did Virgo and I did Scorpio. I got Aries, Gemini, Sag left. So, I'm going to try to get them all in tonight, okay? Let's see what you got. All right, reading now for Aries, our fire signs. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Let's get eight cards, tarot for Aries. We're just gonna jump right in. This is from my oceanic tarot. Oceanic tarot for, whoa, we have 10 of cups. Completion, happily ever after. Whoa, what have you completed? There's a card that flipped. Hmm, that's interesting. We got nine of wands right after. Two more cards from here. Let's see. Ooh. There is something going on here, lovely, that has put you on the defense. People gossiping, talking about you, spying on you. Very interesting energy, Aries. All right, we need four more cards. Very interesting. Wow, did we have a tower moment? Or are we going to have one? We got the tower. There is some kind of illusion that you're going to see right through. That's what this tower moment's about. We got the moon. So something's going to be revealed that was hidden to you up until this moment. Wow. You knew about it all along, though. You just didn't want to accept it for some reason. Two more. That's why this divine intervention's coming in. The angel of the ocean. That's temperance. We have healing. Wow. So whatever this thing that is going to be revealed to you, it's going to work out because it's going to be, oh, there it is. I was just, you can't make it up, Aries. I was just about to say it's going to um, cause massive growth in regards to your healing journey. And just as I said that, literally, I got the Ace of Wands growth. Damn it. Why are so many side energy cards coming out for you? Queen of Cups, sensitivity. All right. Can we get one more card for this reading, please, Spirit? Not 50 million. Don't want to be here all night. I know you guys love to talk. Oh, my God. Another one just flew out. Seven of Cups, possibility. Movement, the chariot. Oh, Lord, there's so many side energy cards they gave me, and I just don't have time to go over all of this and beat this dead horse right now. Okay, so let's focus on the first message, please, Spirit. Okay, so you have completed a massive healing cycle right now, okay? That's where this Ten of Cups is. This is completion. This is the card of Happily Ever After. It's a Ten of Cups. Excuse me, Ten of Cups is one of the happiest cards in the deck to get in love. It is Ten Cups overflowing with love and fulfillment, right? But, and I say but, because the two cards that came out after this are Defense, which is Nine of Wands, and Page of Swords, Gossip. So there is this energy of sort of being on the defense about something like trying to fight it almost feels like a losing battle i mean the knight of wands is this energy of like protecting something you know that you feel needs to be protected and in this case it's a love reading so it's like being very protective of your heart and it's very strange because I see that you're extremely happy right now, right? 
But for some reason, like, you're, it's like you're fighting, <laughs> fighting yourself. Does that make sense? Oh, that's, that's what it feels like. I mean, or it could be fighting off other people. Like, this card came out, which is, it says gossip, Page of Swords. So, there may be people around you right now that are talking about you in regards to your love life, saying, oh, this person's doing this, or she's doing that, or they're, I don't know. But the point of the matter is, you know, I feel like you're not only fighting yourself in regards to like enjoying this happiness, but also there's this feeling of like trying to defend something from other people. So like there's this energy of like feeling like you need to defend your decisions and you really don't. You really don't have to explain yourself or the decisions you made in your love life to anyone other than you. Does that make sense? Okay. So... We have the moon, which, you know, it, it says down there, it literally says illusion. This is the energy of something that you thought was something, but it's not that something. Um, and right after we have the tower, it says destruction. So again, this energy of thinking something is something, but it's it really wasn't what you thought it was. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Okay. But here's the deal. I feel like at this point, you already know what I'm talking about. You know what you thought, whatever was going on. And you realize that it wasn't. And you had this big tower moment. But you used your intuition. High Priestess. We got High Priestess intuition. Because I feel like you already sort of knew that, you, that it wasn't what you thought it was. And so you were just like sort of now at this point of acceptance. And now you're changed because of it because you know you'll never doubt your intuition again. When it tells you something is not right, you're going to trust your gut. And that's where this comes in. Look, the growth, Ace of Wands. That major tower moment was the best thing that could have ever happened to you because look what we got next. This is balance. This is healing. This is temperance. This is patience. This is all of the good things that... Build character, Aries, and this is beautiful energy. This is learning to take a negative and turn it into a positive. It's literally spinning gold with your emotions. And look at what came out as a side energy to sort of like frost this beautiful cake for you. Queen of Cups, sensitivity. So after all of this crap that you went through, these tower moments, these illusions, this people gossiping about you and just a bunch of drama in your love life. You're ready now. You are now open. You're able to trust yourself. You're healed. There's been massive amounts of growth. And so now you have these beautiful new beginnings coming in. The Ace of Wands represents a new, passionate, beautiful relationship. For some of you, you moved. Look at this. This is the chariot. It shows... It says movement, but for me, it feels like moving, like you moved, you left. Um, for some of you, you're going to be traveling different places all over the world. Wow. It's beautiful energy. And look at this. Seven of Cups. We have possibility, infinite possibilities. What do you want to happen next, Aries? What's your next step? Because whatever it is, it can be yours. Look, we have... The energy of being open, the energy of healing, learning your lessons, and being ready to move forward, right? You're wide open with your intuition, your third eyes popped open, and we have this energy of something new coming in, a new passionate relationship, a new passionate beginning. Are you ready for it? <laughs> Are you ready for it? Ace of Wands always means a new passionate relationship, possibly with another fire sign. Let's look what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh my God, look at what's on the bottom of the deck. I felt guided to look and there it is. It's the world. The world is the greatest card you can get in any tarot deck. It represents completion of a cycle. It represents literally the world being in your hand. It represents the fact that you've learned so many lessons. You've come to the end of this cycle of lessons 
it says regeneration. You're ready for all of these wonderful blessings. The world is blessings. It's literally having the world in the palm of your hand. You know that song that they, you know, the little Jesus song? He's got the whole world in his hands. That's you, Aries. You got the world in your hands. And it's just about deciding what you're going to do with all these new gifts and blessings that are coming in. Oh, it's beautiful, Aries. I'm so happy for you. Okay, I'm excited. I'm going to do some romance. Angels, this has been a fucking phenomenal reading. I'm just floored right now. And excuse my potty mouth, but I'm excited. So if you're a past subscriber, welcome back. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. Whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All of my readings are timeless. So I just want to say welcome. All right. And thank you in advance for all your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. If you want to book a reading with me, you click on this little arrow underneath my description box. And all of my prices are there. All right. I will give you a lot of bang for your buck. Let me tell you. Okay. Let's do three Romance Angels cards for Aries, please. Aries, your energy is beautiful today. Okay, so the first card, it flew out. It says, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So take that how it resonates. There's something right now in your love life that didn't sit right or isn't sitting right. And Spirit is saying, don't doubt your intuition. If it doesn't feel right, it's not right. Wow. But we have trust. It said, this situation is calling for you to have faith. One more, please, for Aries. So when this new relationship comes in, and I say when because I see something in the very, very near future coming in, okay? If you can learn to trust yourself and also to trust the universe, okay? Right here, look, trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So there was some red flags in your past relationship. Something wasn't sitting right, and I feel like you knew that. If you got this card. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So if for some reason you have a lapse and you feel like you want to go back to a certain situation, remember what spirit is saying. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. It is not a good idea. Okay? They're asking you to trust them. Wow, my phone just glitched for a second. And here's why. You have passion. Look at this Aries all the passion that an Aries sign craves, the sexual tension, the ripping of clothes, all of that. Allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy because you got some passion coming in, baby. Look at that. They caked up. Okay. And then we have flirts. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. My back is really itchy all of a sudden. So spirit is saying, don't be so rigid. Allow yourself to have some fun. Flirt with that person that you wanted to flirt with, um, give yourself to them in a fun, lighthearted way and extend that like beautiful, lighthearted energy that you're so famous for, Aries. You guys are great flirts. Allow yourself to flirt and be free. Spirit is saying, trust the process. This relationship is divinely guided by spirit, okay? This new one coming in. We're going to do your spirit message and then Bodhi Tarot. And we're going to end with the Who Oracle like I've been doing with all the signs. What do we got for Aries? We need four cards for Aries, please. For this, I have Gemini and Sag. And then we're done. Whoa. What do we got for Aries? Four. Kind. So, some of you are dealing with a person who is extremely kind, and they have a beautiful heart, or you have a beautiful, kind heart. Oh, we have Taurus. Now, that would make sense if your person is a Taurus. So, for you singles, and you're looking out for someone, look out for a Taurus. Tauruses are very kind-hearted, and it makes sense, because they're earth signs, and earth signs are beautiful spirits. Okay, we also have Libra, though, so you might have a few different options. Or you could have a Libra friend in your life right now who's, you know, going to impact your love life in some way. Maybe going to introduce you to the Taurus. I don't know. All right. So then we have straight hair. So if you're dealing with someone right now who has straight hair and you're dating someone that has straight hair, 
It's a very good chance they could be your person, Aries. We have Kind, Taurus, Libra, and Straight Hair. And it's an Ace, too. Look at that. Woo, very nice. All right, beautiful. Let's do some Bodhi Tarot. Now, this is the little deck that's shaped like a heart. So it's going to take me a minute to shovel these because they're a little bit tricky. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's going to be a minute for <laughs> Hold on. I love the concept of the heart shape, but it's really hard to shuffle. So that's why it, it always gives me just a second to. All right. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages for our beautiful Aries to guide them to their highest timeline of love. I always love to get people together so they can be happy because love is the highest frequency, right? Wow, beautiful. Let's get three of these, Spirit. Ooh, that one stopped there. Actually, yeah, let's... I was going to say let's do four. Let's do four. This is not... Okay. Good. Okay, the first head that came out says, Being grateful for all that we have leads our hearts to overflow with abundance. Give thanks for the things that you have and watch your life change. Ooh, so Spirit wants you to have the attitude of gratitude. So the more grateful you are, the more Spirit goes, Ooh, you like that? Here's more. Ooh, you like this? Here's more. I think it's my bra that's itching me. I'm going to take it off soon. Watch out for people that don't add to your life. They are dragging you down to their level. Be careful, Aries. You don't deserve this. You're worth much more. This is absolutely true. Aries, I a lot of the signs are getting this. Scorpio got it. Virgo got it. If there is someone in your life that is not adding to the joy and the positivity, it is absolutely okay and almost imperative for you to cut them out of your life and to move forward. And to move forward. Okay? So that you can live your best life. Because you do deserve all of the great things in life. And don't let anyone fucking tell you different, Aries. Okay. And then we have, see, this is coming out again for you. Is someone stealing your energy? Take some time alone. Recharge and take a break from the world. Watch out for people stealing your energy. You cannot make it up. There is obviously someone in your vicinity that is not only negative, but they're stealing your energy, Aries. So be aware of that. And I feel like you have very strong intuition. You're going to know automatically who this is and what you need to do okay and last card we have is a soulmate connection is in or entering your life at this time see this relationship is divinely guided so whatever label you want to put on it you have a new relationship coming in i told you in a divinely guided connection <laughs> beautiful we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up with the who oracle Beautiful reading, Aries. <laughs> okay, last four cards for Aries, please. Whoa. Okay, so we have skillful. Your person is very skilled with their hands. Somehow they, I don't know, they make things. They work with clay or they paint or they do art or something. Something with their hands. Um, maybe they cut wood. I don't know. I keep seeing hands and tools. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, so the first card we have for you, Aries, is skillful. And look, it shows a person doing something with their hands. And I, they kept showing me a tool, like hands and working with their hands. Okay, and then you have 20s. <laughs> so this is either your energy or your person's. If you're an older person in your 30s or 40s, 
you're going to be getting your groove back real soon because your person is in their 20s. Whew. That's a very young, um, very, uh, what's it called, energy. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Feels very fire sign-ish, very spontaneous, beautiful energy. Ooh, we have tall. Can somebody say a tall, dark, and handsome? Yes, Aries, you can. <laughs> so your person is tall. Or maybe you're tall. I don't know. Your guys' energies are super intertwined. But honestly, this feels like a Divine Masculine's energy. These two cards right here feel very like Divine Masculine. Okay. And then we have Sense of Humor. So your person is really funny. Or they find you funny. Or, you know, you are really good at telling jokes. I don't know. You know, take it how it resonates. This energy, you know... Spirit is showing you possible traits of your person. So for those of you that are single, be looking out for those traits. For those of you who are dating someone right now, you know, or are involved with someone right now, these could be the possible traits to be looking for. All right, Aries, you want to book a reading with me? Click that little um, arrow and all my prices are there. Please check out my Etsy shop. I'm going to be having new stuff at the, hopefully at the beginning. I want to say... At the beginning of June, I'll probably have everything restocked. Everything in my shop right now is half off, though, because I'm trying to get rid of the old inventory. So if you're interested in anything, now's the time to get it. My Lemurian Love Deck, it went from $50 to $25. Please check out my son's channel. He works really hard. He's a featured channel on my channel. There's two ways for you to tip me, bunnies, and I really appreciate all of your tips. I appreciate those of you who have joined me on Patreon uh, let's see, uh, Chakra Bunny Tarot is my PayPal, and I also have Cash App. Um, I will not be doing the sexual energy reads for April because I got behind when I was sick, but I'm going to be doing sexual energy reads for May ASAP. Thank you all for being so patient while I was recovering from my illness. Um, I thought I was better, and then I went right back to having symptoms again. So it was a very tedious, you know, thing to heal so I love you so very much, Aries. Thank you. Bye.